It's a time for a package from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because we're going to take a close look at the new handheld. It's the X7. And for the people who didn't know, I already did a review of the 2020 model, but this is the new 2021 model. And sometimes it's just interesting to see what did they change out. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a quick overview, play some games and see what can we do with this bad boy. But first, what's inside the box? Inside the box, now we're also going to get a TV out cable, but seems to be I don't have one. But sometimes you're going to get it. Yeah, I don't know why, maybe they forgot it. We're going to get the normal USB cable, mini USB cable. It's just freaking unbelievable. 2021 is still using this freaking thing. Who uses mini USB nowadays? Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're going to get the MP5. There's also a name that goes by with the X7, the MP5. There are so many different names. It's, oh, man, it's so sometimes confusing, even for me. But this is more like the deluxe toilet paper manual with some explanation. How does it work? The menu, the shitty camera, the support of music files, video files, because they still they don't, do not sell it like a game system, particularly it's more like a multi-game system or multimedia system. Quite an interesting explanation. What can you do with it? So if you have any questions, maybe your answer is in here. Also I made a separate review about how you can add games to the X7. So let's take a close look at this handheld itself, because this is where you came for. Alright, so let's take a close look at the handheld itself. So to begin with, it has a really cheap feel. Nothing to be compared with the original PlayStation Vita. It is more like a ripoff from the Vita and it has the colors of the Nintendo Switch. Having two slider joysticks, and I can say that these joysticks are not compatible with the PlayStation Portable. Well, because this thing is just a feel, cheap feel to the maximum level. Having here the D-pad, it doesn't really need D-pad, more like four freaking shutter and buttons. They're still doing it. Can tell you that a b x y the two joysticks is quite an interesting story so they basically map to the top bottom row so this means the d-pad is the analog stick so it's not a problem but with the a b x and y <laughs> they're mapped to the joystick horrible select start escape let's take a close look at the top with volume control we're having on and off and reset button or an extra button for going out to the menu then we're having here microphone don't even mention it it's freaking horrible and shoulder buttons at the back, we're going to get a screen protector. Yeah, for the little decal. This is the 8 gigabyte version. The most horrible camera you can get from maybe 1999. Then we're having here two jack outs, one for TV out. Shh, doggy. And then we're having the headphone out. And we're having here the mm, mini USB for charging the system itself. And we're having here the reset button that basically resets the full system. So that's the difference between the top bottom. This is the full reset. So if it's going to get, let's say, stuck in a game itself, you press the magical reset button over here. And of course, we're having the TF card or CF card so we can add new games. So that's all, folks. That's what you can do with it. And let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so for the people who are familiar to the X-Series handhelds, it's still getting the same boot manual. But there is a surprise. Yes, because there are some differences this time. They have did some minor improvements. To begin with is that, well, that looks kind of weird, but the menu is slightly different. So the bottom row is different now, we have a game, movie, music, camera, and the photo. So I'm going to show you 1999 horrible camera. Here it comes. You can see that it's freaking awful. But okay, music. And the first thing I'm noticing is that it works very fast. So with the previous model, we had more like a second delay when pressing a button. At this time, they fixed that issue. So I'm very pleased to see that they finally listening. File manager, settings, theme style. So let's go to the settings and let's show you this part. Here we're having the brightness control. Okay, it's already on level 10. Output LCD. This is basically for when you want to use the TV out function. So quite interesting to see that they changed a lot of stuff out. Okay, crap. Ah, oh, okay, <laughs> I almost messed it up. So this is a great example. If you put it on zero and you're pressing accidentally B, you don't have a way to get your screen to work anymore. So there are more like these <laughs> tiny things, but tiny bugs that you can't, oh, I, can't, I can't believe that you did it. So there are some new options out here. So as you can see with the previous model, we had more like a less basic menu. System information, fantasy, okay. Like here we're having the latest version, 2000, 
I don't hold in it to mean 2008 because I would be very old. But it's more like a newer edition and the manual works a little bit better. But then is the question, how does the freaking games work? Another great feature that they have is when having a game boot up, pressing the escape button. Before you're going back to the menu, you have the option to make a quick load, quick save. So far I know there is only three save slots for each game. So it's just a fun extra thing that you can do with it. Let's play some beefcake and dinosaurs. Beefcake! Beefcake! You can see that. You can play like this. If you want to play, you can use the joysticks. <laughs> Holy shit. So Game Boy Advance is basically on turbo mode. Ooh, now we really have a fast on the game. Come on, here we go. Woo! Fun fact, that the sound effects are not the damn Hey, that looks kind of funny by the way, if you can just play Sonic 1 on turbo mode. Such a bummer man, that they messed it up like this because the game does seem to be having a lot of issues with screen tearing, as I've seen before. So this is what I mean, they always need to mess something up. And I must be honest, I don't recall how it was running, but on the previous model, that it was not like a turbo mode, because the first time I've seen it, that was in turbo mode. So and here comes another thing. So we're having the quick load, quick save. Okay, that's all fun and game. But with the previous model, we can change out the aspect ratio. And we can do it with this version. So they added a new feature, they mess something up, and they just something remove stuff that they shouldn't. Next game. This sounds so weird. This sounds really weird. The tune. No, that sounds, no, this sounds off. How can you mess up the freaking 8-bit stuff? <laughs> oh boy, how does it sound where I'm going to get hit? Alright, basically this is the ultimate test and the reason why, with the previous models we have the issue when Mega Drive choppy gameplay and we didn't have a jump button okay so it seems to be that they still didn't fix the issue with the x7 new model the sound is never better too so an overall beefcake and they mess it up okay next up super famicom um, i can already see that it runs very horrible when it comes to the frame rate the audio has the same issues like the previous model, so also with the Super Famicom, they didn't fix it. What a weird bit on layout. The sound effects are here, but this is not how you want to play Donkey Kong Country 2. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get with the X7, the new model. <laughs> they didn't improve it. Yeah, they improved the menu, it was way smoother now, but when you're looking at the emulation, it still suffers from the same problem. Better said, it still has even more problems, like the previous model, especially with the GBA. Running on turbo mode, I can't understand why they did this. And the same goes, by the way, for the NES that has more like weird tunes to it. Okay guys, I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family, and let me know in the comments what do you think of this man. And see you in the next video.